Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. So in our last episode we won our Holy War for Oman down here and almost immediately, apparently in retaliation, the Fatimids have called a fifth, fourth Shia Jihad for Jerusalem, uh, which is fine. Hopefully we'll have no more trouble dealing with this than we did dealing with the previous ones. Well, I shouldn't say we had no trouble, it wasn't trivial exactly. Uh, but let's go ahead and start bringing our troops over. We're also going to raise some mercenaries and holy orders. Uh, let's see here, we definitely don't need this many boats and actually we will need them to ferry down those mercenaries. So we'll send these 600 up there and put you on the existing boats down here. Have we raised Galicia already? I oh, guess we haven't, okay. So you get down there. So let's see. We'll certainly raise our two vassalized holy orders. And no reason not to hire the Knights of Calatrava either since we get them free of upkeep. And I guess we'll just raise the largest mercenary companies available. Perhaps not right on top here. We can actually fit them in this county, so we can raise one for now. guys go down there and we'll raise another one. Actually, we shouldn't really raise them yet because we're still waiting for the boats to arrive. So now we're just paying them for the next month or so for no reason. But I guess it's not the worst thing that ever happens. the great company as well and that'll probably do it yeah, so that's not quite enough there we'll send these 50 there as well and you are fine for them How many troops do we have down here already? Not very many. I have another few thousand down here. Uh, that's fine. So the Fatimids apparently are sieging us down here in Egypt, which is interesting because Jerusalem is their war goal, obviously. So we'll just focus our efforts on defending Jerusalem and we'll start getting ticking war score in our favor. A mysterious Jewish man has offered his services at your court. He is well versed in feudal court intrigue and has a past as both a mercenary and a spy. All right. He's welcome, but probably won't actually appoint him to the council. Our Duke of Axum has usurped a county. We have accepted the call to arms from the King of Aragon against a host. Okay. Probably won't actually be helping him. I'm sure he'll do fine. Alright, we now have 27,000 or so here. It's going to be over a lot of the supply limits in these counties. Fine, we'll just land here for now. Mongols have joined the defensive pact against us, alright. So this is mountains, unfortunately. But 
but I think it's still better for us to get in there and stop them from sieging anything in Jerusalem. We should be able to win the battle anyway. Here comes the Pope with uh, 15,000 troops. Should be able to take on the armies up in the north there with those numbers. Our peasant revolt in Sweden, by the way, has been defeated. We will, of course, accept help from the Queen of Leon. Uh, a little concerned about this army. I hope they're not going to be able to get here in time to reinforce this. Uh, they shouldn't be able to. They're several counties away still. Uh, we have three and a half thousand here. We probably shouldn't land these yet. Uh, we can also raise Jerusalem's armies at this point, incidentally. Yours, and also Sinai. Have them all merge up there. Right, I think that was one of our counties down here being converted. Our chaplain is still working on that one, that's fine. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams and see the panic in their eyes. Um, I think we will resist our foul impulses. So I still don't think he's going to get there in time. I'm going to move this army into the adjacent county, though, just in case. All right, we won our battle. As she's growing older, I can see that Ella could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. Well, we already became out of patience doing this on behalf of another of our wards. I guess we can't choose that option again, and I don't want to become stressed or have her as a rival. Alright, she's the one that is betrothed to the heir of the Holy Roman Empire anyway. We'll just tell her to learn on her own. Alright, well I guess we've become ill. Uh, good thing we didn't become stressed, I guess, since it's already a health penalty. Alright, so this county is desert. I think we should take this opportunity to attack this army while it's in the desert. Just use this 21k for the moment and reinforce if that seems necessary. So our large mercenary armies are on their way down. Beginning to think they may not be necessary, but... With the number of people in here, I'm assuming that more troops will be coming. Yeah, we can see a lot down here, actually. Young Ella is developing a kind disposition towards others. So we can say she should be more charitable and she will have a chance of becoming charitable, or... have her become kind. I think that's fine. Oh, my illness has passed. Excellent. Alright, so this is 21k versus 14. Still should be pretty good, I think. We do have our commanders in here, yes. Uh, we definitely don't want this many troops in this county taking attrition for no reason.
at our trade post in Constantinople siege, which is not a big deal. Okay, we won this battle, captured a prisoner. Who I will ransom immediately. Alright, this is 30k. Uh, we probably won't need you up here. I think I'll just land them down here and we'll fight any armies coming up from the south. I probably don't care about that. And the rest of you... I guess we'll just land you in this general area. Make sure that we keep any hostile armies out of Jerusalem. Our truce with the Aztecs is going to expire soon, okay. So I see this army heading up from the south and I am going to attack it as soon as I can. So we're not catching you there. You can change your mind about going there and maybe try now. I suspect there's a river crossing here. There is, but we have three times their numbers, so even if this army finishes its retreat and joins in, we still have them significantly outnumbered. Let's not be taking attrition in the desert there, please. I say that as if they are not there because I specifically told them to be there. Of course, it's totally my fault. Our kinswoman needs a childhood focus. She is good at martial and intrigue. We'll go for struggle, I suppose. We're going to be over the supply limit here as well, which is not great. I guess we'll just head straight down here since we can fit this many troops in the supply limit and we can fight this army in the meantime. We lost a siege down here to the Fatimids, but it's not really a big deal since it's not in Jerusalem. Uh, this is, though, I'm pretty sure. So we should probably do something about that. I guess we'll send this army up there. going to be over the supply limit in this county, but I guess we can just accept that. Alright, so we're going to make it down there on the 26th. They're going to get out before then. Let's maybe just do this instead. King Bishop of Hungary offers to join. We are happy to accept. Uh, we are losing almost 300 gold a month, incidentally, so it's not possible for us to hold on to these mercenaries forever. All right, we are going to catch them finally. Rumors have reached me that people are conspiring to kill my son, Sweeney. Okay, um... Again, they probably actually aren't. We're probably just paranoid. I guess we have the option to send him into hiding if we want to. Oh, apparently we have a holding down here, so... We've lost a siege, okay. Alright, we won that battle. Uh, I'd like to fight some of these Fatimid armies separately, if possible. So I think we'll just go and fight this one. I'm going to keep an eye on this 13k, though, to see where they're going. 
Oh, you were headed south anyway, okay. Maybe we can catch you here? Probably not. Not even close, okay. Well, we'll follow them up and we can at least cut them off from this army down in the south. Our kinsman Radolf has finished his education in the ways of war and has unfortunately become a misguided warrior. Oh well. We can at least get married though. Alright, so I don't want to let this army escape. Unfortunately, we can't get there before them. I can land this army here, though, which may not be a good idea. This is only three and a half thousand, but... I can certainly hold them up here, and... Maybe this army can get there in time. Then we'll have the Dementants on our side in the resulting battle. May turn out to have been a bad move, but I guess it's happening, so we'll see how it turns out. Our kinswoman is haughty, curious, and playful. So diplomacy would be okay. As would intrigue. We'll go with diplomacy. Alright, so this has to hold out for six more days, which kind of seems unlikely. Uh, maybe just a bit. Or until the 26th, I mean. Alright, so we got there. We have the numbers now, and we have the mountains, so... Hopefully we can win this. Yep, okay. Turned out just fine. We'll see where they're headed after they get to El Arish. Down this way, okay. King of Pomerania offers to join our war. We will accept. Our daughter Kenna, our genius daughter Kenna, needs an education focus, okay. So she's playful, affectionate, and willful. Diplomacy, not so good. Intrigue, playful, good, affectionate, bad. I guess we're going for Marshall, which is fine. Not her strongest stat, but she's still pretty good at it. So some of you were just retreating through here, but we'll be able to catch some of them. Oh, and we've been attacked over here in what seems like a pretty good battle for us, so I'm okay with that. see how it goes. Uh, they've got more equal numbers in there now, so we might want to consider sending reinforcements, but unfortunately all of our reinforcements are a couple of counties away. We do actually have a desert expert available, which is not relevant immediately, but good to know. Alright, we'll just try and get you in there as quickly as possible then. They've actually broken their right flank somehow, which I am not going to complain about.
Except they apparently reinforced it and now they've broken our center. So uh, good thing we have these reinforcements coming in in six more days. Our son Indulf says his favorite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Uh, we'll offer to buy him a new one. He rejected our offer and is upset that we'd even suggest such a thing. Oh well. Okay, so with those reinforcements, we should win this. And then we're going to have to think about uh, disbanding some of our mercenaries because we are pretty low on gold at this point. I think we should be getting ticking war score by now though. Yeah, we have 16% already. Though the sieges that we've lost are adding up to a significant amount too. Okay, so that battle is won. Uh, let's see, if we disband one of these... We're going to have to disband both, I think. We can't really afford to keep one of them for any reasonable amount of time, even. Well, we got a few decent battles out of them while we had them, so that's the important thing. Alright, so these armies are now much smaller and more vulnerable, so we'll pull them back up in this direction towards our other troops. These are not actually going to be a danger because they're just doing a shattered retreat through here. I think we took a little bit of attrition, unfortunately. But we are back up to positive income, so that's good. Uh, yeah, just stay here, I think, for now. Also lost some from up here, so you should come back down south as well. Not sure if this army is actually part of the war, or if it just uh, happens to be hanging out here. We'll keep an eye on what it's doing anyway. Let's see, are they sieging us down here anywhere? They are, but uh, only with relatively small armies, and they haven't actually sieged anything yet. Okay, well this seems to be going relatively well so far, and it's only going to continue going in our favor, I think, as long as we continue to control Jerusalem. But we're just about out of time for now, so we'll leave it here. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.